Hello guys, this is Silver Fox A. This video is a continuation to my playlist leveled uh, digital ocean infrastructure. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to host multiple domains or also website using single uh, droplet on DigitalOcean. I'm assuming you are aware of DigitalOcean and on uh, how, to, how to create droplet and configure the same. In case if you aren't, what I'll do is I'll uh, post a link in my description which refers to one of my previous videos where I described uh, how you can go about configuring one. Okay, let's say you have n number of domains, maybe you are using or else you just kept it uh, as a bulk domain, right? Now you want to sell those domains, so you want to highlight a uh, sell page or else basic contact page where you can get the details. But you don't need spec like different hosting for each of the domains. Rather, what you can do is you can direct all the domains come to one single hosting which host a form where one can drop in their contact details so that you can contact them back, right? Or can be like you are hosting your uh, projects on the web, right? For your portfolio purpose or something as such, maybe. Whatsoever the reason you might have is like you need a number of domains come to a single hosting. For that, I'm assuming you have all those domains with you. You may have may bought from some domain provider, GoDaddy, Big Rock, Namecheap, or something else. In my case, I got it from Big Rock. Uh, I have some seven to eight domains parked and few I'm using so get answers is one of those what I'll, I'll, I'll just show you guys how I um, Connect or link get answers to one of my existing domain that is Medkey. We already have a hosted live website uh, running on that particular hosting and uh, Just show you guys how, how we can go about uh, adding few others Let's go to the networking section under Digital Ocean Console, uh, where you basically uh, redirect or, or so basically configure the DNS records. So we'll configure our DNS record for getinsers.in. Uh, basically, uh, change uh, the existing name server to the uh, Digital Ocean name server. Right. Once you add the domain here, you'll get to see what all other dns uh, name server that you want to add also update in your existing uh, domain provider dns uh, console so here we have to change that nms ns records to these three So there, there will be some um, other other set of uh, providers who would give you more than three NS records. So you have to add it accordingly. Uh, update the name servers. Now it can take up to 24 to 48 hours to reflect. So what you can do is you can just open up Tor browser. So you can see the updates instantly. Before testing it out, we actually need to enter the A records, right? Uh, what A record will do, it will basically tell your domain or that you need to um, link or else you basically need to refer to a particular hosting space where all the details are uh, located, okay? So uh, first would go as at the rate that refers to the domain. Now I'm referring a droplet, that is the mad gig with the droplet. So I'm directing at the rate to Mad Gig Droplet. Okay, now what we need one more record that is a CNAME record. Right. What this will do, this will basically tell that uh, you, need, you can also refer to triple w that is uh, www.getanswers.in that also you can use. Now when you do that, that refers to your getanswers.in. Right. Okay, so you have basically configured all the things that you need from the server side. Uh, now we need to open up terminal where we'll just create uh, one file that basically says hello world. So they get to know the domain is working fine. And it will have a certain directory uh, where all the details uh, like this file will be saved. To connect to your droplet, you can use terminal for Mac users. And for Windows users, or oh, you can use Putty. 
so you have to use ssh command and along with the username and the ip address once you hit that you have to enter your password to the droplet that will give you the droplet console once you are in right you can basically navigate to the triple uh, w uh, directory you can create a directory wherever you want for me i have a specific path where i want the project or the demo files to be saved i'll create a new file using the nano command uh, basically index page that says hello world i wrote it in php you can do it in normal html there's one small part remaining before you could actually go live that is we need to configure the vhost uh, virtual host which basically tells that uh, this particular domain needs to refer this particular directory or the uh, file path once you're done with that you will copy a boilerplate uh, which apache by default gives you uh, default uh, configuration file that is triple w hyphen default dot config i will create a new one for our get and search domain need to configure the same Once you're here, what you need to do is change the document root to the directory where your project or all the files are located. For us, uh, it's under get answers subdirectory. Similarly, change the directory path. Once you're done with this, we need to enter the server name and the server alias. Save the updated file and we need to enable the configurations that we just created. To do that, type in the command a2 en site. So that basically asks, uh, is a Apache command to enable a new set of configurations. Get config. Once this is done successfully, uh, write this command which basically which will restart your server to ensure that all the latest changes has been made and uh, being reflected. There you go, hello world. The script that we wrote. Now you need to repeat the same process for in whatsoever the website that you want to deal with, right? Let's say you want some other set of websites to refer to a particular uh, droplet and you want all of them to be hosted uh, in that particular droplet. So you have to follow these steps for all of those. Here's few of my park domains where I hosted them under the same droplet and uh, put them for sale. Hope you find the video informative enough. Please do subscribe my channel and like or share whichever you prefer the best. Thank you.